Sheen Lamb's kick drop in midfield. And uh, Paul Merriman covers back well here. Seems to have gone to Mick Bean. Mick Bean is stolen up the field for, for a kill. Knocks it out here to uh, Parry Kelly. And the number nine for kill. Right for the shot from Parry Kelly. And makes a score. Two points to nothing. And we're some 10 minutes into the game at this stage. Shane Lamb's kick drop in midfield. Packy Cal is under it there for uh, Kid Cullen. It's gone off up here where Mark Bourne comes out for a kill. Uh, now beaten by Mick, uh, looks like Mick Spencer. And uh, Pat Creighton clears the ball out over the sideline. Line ball for Kid Cullen. <laughs> Mark Bourne coming away again. He's tackled from the back. And a good right for the clearance from Mark. Uh, Kid Cullen man seems to handle the ball on the ground, but referee Moore waves play on. Gone over there, Christy Duran is under for the kill. Falls to the ground, Christy is tackled and uh, gets a free from referee Moore, some uh, 45 metres out from his own goal. Quickly taken by Christy. Mick Bean is on the attack here. Knocks the ball over here to Parry Kelly. Parley Kelly, right footed shot, it's gone in here, gone in to the full forward, Donny Dorn. And uh, it's not Donny, it um, seems to be Seamus Sheridan, ball goes wide. Drops in, Ronan, Delhon knocks it away, shot there by Kid Cullen. Some 20 metres out, he's gone over the bar, first score for Kid Cullen. Score this stage, two points to one. Drop in midfield, Noel Cocoman is under it here. Centre half forward, Noel falls to the ground, tackled heavily here. Ball taken away from Noel, and it's like Danny Cal coming away from Kid Cullen. Ronan, Delhon is under it. Play still goes on, comes to this side of the field. Kid Cullen, man, falls to the ground. Just the number nine, uh, Fergie Aspel, it looks like. Gone in here to the full forward. Uh, Brendan Kelly, crossfield ball, but it's taken up here by uh, Brendan Bourne. Brendan Bourne gets by one man, he's going away down the field. Blondie Bourne here for a kill, about to be tackled. Left foot is shot in from Blondie. Only succeeds in going to Packy Cahill. Game really warming up now. And it's gone out to Johnny Howard to kick Cullen. Left footed Johnny, goes by one man, seems to overcarry the ball. Referee John Moore goes for a free. Quickly taken. Kill, tackle here by Packy Cal. Drops in here. Slip of conditions, players falling all over the place. Donny Dorn is out there to try and rescue it. Gone a long way out from goals. Packy Cal, tackled by Donny Dorn. And Linesman is given a kill ball. Gone in here to Niall O'Donovan, left footed shot from Niall, in along the end line and gone wide. Good catch there by Parley Kelly, knocks it away to Mick Bean. Mick Bean on the attack here, going on a solo run, he's about to be tackled, knocks it into Noel Cockerman. Noel Cockerman, good right footed shot from Noel, score three points to one. Shane Lamb's kick dropping midfield. Parry Kelly is again under there for kill. And Killman fouls some 50 metres out. Free in to kill. Seamus Sheridan with the kick. Right for the kick from Seamus. It's gone wide. Noel Cockerman under for kill there and knocks it down. 
has gone to full forward, Danny Byrne plays it back up here to McBean. McBean for a kill. Knocks it into Blondie Byrne. Left for a kick from Blondie. He's gone to the right and gone wide. Kick out comes this side of the field. Knocked down there by Blondie Byrne. Noel Cockerman under now here. Noel Cockerman fouled and a free in for a kill. This one will be taken by Party Kelly, who leaves it again in turn to Paul Merriman. Paul is son of Tom, the intercounty the referee here in Clare and underage supervisor. Left foot a kick coming off from Paul, dropping it right into the square there. Packy Cal is under for Kid Cullen. Is fouled or fouls the ball, a free in for kill uh, some 20 metres out and taps it over to bring the score four points to one and we're gone some uh, 20 minutes into the game with kill playing with the win and uh, Seamus Sheridan who has scored the first point there for kill of course kick out comes midfield there Parley Kelly fouls and the free for kill Cullen For the kick, Blondie Bourne takes it very well there for Kill. Blondie Bourne left for the kick, driving it right down there. Seamus Sheridan has gone in after it for the ball. Peace, everybody. Taken up by the Kilcullen goalkeeper, Shane Lamb. Cleared up the field here. Blondie Bourne playing a very good game here for Kill in midfield. Knocks it over to Mick Bean. Always attacking, that's Mick. Knocks it out here to Paul Merriman. Left footed shot from Paul. Gone very high and gone over the bar. A good score there from Paul Merriman to leave the score five points to one at this stage. Parry Kelly is on it again there for Kilcullen. Fouls quickly taken by Kilcullen, gone up to Ronan Delahunt. Ronan knocks the ball away, but still is Kilcullen on the attack. Free some uh, 45 metres out from the kill goals. Right for the shot from Danny, dropping right into the square there. Knocked away by Joe Corrigan. Uh, out to left corner back Mark Bourne. Mark Bourne knocks it out here to midfield. Parry Kelly is under. Parry could play minor with Kildare, knocks it down here. But uh, Packy Cal is under for Cullen. Good hole, hard to play is Packy. Ups it in here. Uh, tackled by Parley Kelly and a free some uh, 52 metres out from the kill goals. <laughs> Trevor Swear, good kick, dropping right into the square there. Seems to be held there by Mick Bean. Mick Bean is fouled. Value possession there for kill, taken by their experienced player, Mick Bean. Mick Bean takes a quick one. Seems to go out there to Christy Dornan. He's gone on up the field, knocks it over to this side, but taken there by Trevor Swear at Kilcullen. Cleared up here, comes there by Tony Dunn. And it's gone there to uh, Party Kelly, who seems to be fouled. Uh, but uh, one of the prices knocks it in for Kilcullen. Right for the shot, gone straight across the goals and gone wide. Joe Curran's kick out, dropping here midfield. Parry Kelly is under it again. And it's taken up by Fergie Aspel for Kilcullen. Knocks it in to his other half forward. Still could come, come away on attack. And the ball goes in there. And Mark Bourne is under it, but it's gone wide. Joe Curran's kick comes all the way down here to... Danny Dorn, who's very far out from goals at this stage, plays it on, and still it looks like Christy Duran knocks it in here. It's gone in here to an old talker man, right for the shot from Noel. It's gone right into the square here. Uh, and Kikullen clear the danger. Gone in to Danny Dorn again for a kill, right for the shot from Danny. 
has gone just wide. Ball goes on here to Blondie Byrne. Left footed shot from Blondie, no mistake from Blondie. Straight over the bar, score six points to one. Favour to kill, uh, assisted by the wind and some five minutes left in the first half. Kick out taken there by Danny Cal at Kikullen. Sells a dummy, comes away in a solo run. Heavy tackle there and free from where the ball drops, which is about some 55 metres out from the kill goals. be taken by Danny Cal. Gone out to this side of the field, Mick Spencer from Kilcullen is under. Can keep it at play, ball gone wide. Ball dropping this side of the field, uh, Brendan Bourne pushed, however, comes in here, Packy Cal clears it up for Kilcullen. Knocks it up to the side, Tony Dunn gets it here for Kilcullen. Comes out here to Paul Merriman, Paul can't control it, ball gone over the sideline, free for Kilcullen to be taken by Trevor Swear. A kick there by Trevor Swear, gone in, Danny Cal again on the attack for Kilcullen, broken up there by Mick Behan. Mick Behan still defending well, ball goes over there to right corner forward for Kilcullen, straight up in the air, cut there by, but lost again by Christy Dornan, Kilcullen on the attack here. And it looks like uh, Ronan Delahunt clearing well here. But uh, Kikulin on the halfway line, turned around, has gone into Parry Kelly. Gone over there to Christy Dornan, doing the captain's part here. Christy gains possession as fouled and a free, quickly taken by Mick Behan. Out to his left corner, Mark, Mark Byrne. Gone in here to Nyla Donovan. And Niall is fouled, some 60 metres out from the Kilcullen goals. Kick to be taken by Parley Kelly. Dropping it over to this side of the field. Seamus Sheridan is on. Seamus Sheridan turns the left footed shot and straight over the bar there. Second point at least from play by Seamus Sheridan. Shane Lamb with the kick out, dropping this side. Paul Merriman is under it there. Left footed Paul kicks it high into the air where it's gone over to the far side of the field. Noel Cokerman is under it, fouls his man, free out for Kilcullen. Mick Bean again coming up the field. Sells a dummy. Uh, is fouled. And a free for kill, which will be taken by Parry Kelly. Parry's kick goes right in here. Taken up by Noel Cockerman, throws out here to Paul Merriman, and Paul, good left for the shot from Paul, straight over the bar, score this stage, eight points to one, and we're just on half time. <laughs> Donny Byrne is under, get pushed from the back here. Uh, Cullen. Tackle here by Party Kelly. Referee John Moore deems a foul. And uh, seems to be an incident off the ball here. The Cullen player on the ground. And uh, referee John Moore uh, consulting his umpire. Referee 
referee John Moore and uh, he's going over and uh, seems to be looking for uh, team captain Krista Dornan and he's taking his name in uh, what was uh, an instant off the ball and uh, Kill going very well at this stage uh, they're uh, 8 points to 1 on the board as just as we come up to half time and it's just a booking there for Christy Dornan uh, and uh, stays on the field. Free and at this stage the referee John Moore blows half time with the score 8 points to 1 a game that took some minutes to take off but then it was opened with uh, Seamus Sheridan uh, left footer point to put Kill into the lead Kill with McBean playing very well at centre half back and attacking. Finally got their act together. Paul Merriman slotted over a few points. Uh, Blondie Bourne playing very well at midfield, ably assisted there by Party Kelly. Noel Cokeman played a very good game in the first half as well, and then interchanged with Donny Dorden. So Kill with uh, a seven point advantage uh, to play against the wind in the second half. And we have here uh, Jimmy Kelly from McGarvin who's going to give us a comment on the first half of the Junior A final. Jimmy, what did you think of it so far? Well, from, uh, from the Kilcullen point of view, they should be closer. They missed uh, some great chances in the first 10 minutes. And I thought it should be at least in our four or five points. Now, I think they'll still come back, have a good chance of coming back. Uh, they missed some nice chances up, up, up in their forwards. But I still think Kilcullen will come back. They're small and they're young, and I suppose they, haven't, they lack a little bit of experience. Kill are winning a lot of balls into the field. I think uh, Danny Cattle will probably come into it better in the second half. This here, uh, Ben Dunn and uh, Jimmy Fitz going to give comment. Uh, Kill are uh, eight points to one on the board. Ben, what do you think so far? Uh, personally, I think we're the fitter side. I also think that we're going to uh, win by three or four points here, at least anyway. Um, we've super footballers in Corey Kelly, Blondie Bourne, Mick Bain, T.D. Dornan. They're all probably uh, senior standard. Mentioned but a few. I think I think we're going to going to pull this one off. Uh, Jimmy, uh, what do you think of Blondie Bourne there midfield and party, his partner Parry Kelly doing well so far? They're centre field. Very good. You won't beat it like you know. We say they're county material both of them, and they're only young lads. Uh, and uh, what about Paul Merriman up front there and uh, Seamus Sheridan in the corner as well? Uh, Jimmy, going well? Very good. I tell you, it's an all-round team. You can't pick one man. An all-round team from the goal man out to the full forward line. Uh, ben, I think Tommy Clark from Wicklow is doing the training. He's doing a good job on Tommy's them there. Doing a super job. Now, I don't want to talk. I haven't been training at all this year. Um, I think I've done three sessions in the full year with, through work commitments and injuries and all. But I was glad to be down there at the time I was down there. He has them super fit. He, um, he has them thinking right, mentally and physically he has them right. I think they're a good side and they will be for a couple of years. Last, a senior standard. last word from you, Jimmy. This could be a great day for Kill with the Junior B trophy gone home already. Yes, what do you think? Yes. Going to do the double? We should, yes, with the help of God. And we'll do a good night tonight. That's what we're looking forward to. Sean <laughs> Moore throws in the ball. Got by Parry Kelly. Uh, retained then by McBean, who's fouled. And the free right in the halfway line there to kill. Mick being down injured at the moment. <laughs> Parry Kelly with a kick, dropping it right into the square. Blondie Bourne goes very high there. Left foot is shot from Blondie. He's tackled as he kicks it, and his ball has gone wide this side of the goals. Shane Lamb's kick, dropping midfield. Noel Cokerman is under here. Noel gets the ball, gone away, plays it into Seamus Sheridan. Seamus Sheridan beaten uh, by the left corner back. Dirty feeling for Kick Cullen. His kick down, blocked down by Noel Cokerman. Gone over here to Tony Dunn, beaten at this stage. Ball comes right across here. Kick Cullen man on the attack here. Right footed kick here, and it's gone over the bar to put the score 8 points to 2 and we're some minutes into the second half kick out by Joe Corrigan dropping midfield, Packy Cal breaks it away Mick Bean gets under it but um, Mick is fouled referee undecided, referee Joe Moore and he's going to throw up the ball between uh, Danny Cal and uh, Brendan Bourne, Brendan is under it for Kikullen, Mick Bean gets possession the line hearted Mick seems to be fouled 
and fouled several times and eventually gets the kick. Kick taken by Mark Bourne. Blondie Bourne is under it again for Kilcullen. Goes out here to Niall Dorn. Niall Dorn, one of the youngest on the team, gone into Noel Cocom and the experienced Noel. Plays it in here to Party Kelly. And a good shot from Party Kelly. Four kill to bring the score. Uh, nine points to two. Gone out here. Kilcullen right half back has it. Tackled there by Niall Dorn. Gone into centre field. Danny Cal. One of the leading players for Kilcullen. Knocks it in here. Got Pat Creighton is under. Four kill. And it's the left corner forward, straight up into the air and wide. Knocked out here, got by Donny Dorn, who's come out the field. Again, back to Donny Dorn, good play going on here. He's tackled by Packy Cal, Cullen. Still is Donny Dorn. Uh, referee Joe Moore deems he's over, held the ball and it's a free for Kill Cullen. Derek Brogan has come on to the uh, kill team. In the place of Niall O'Donovan. Tony Don, good kick in here. Cleared by the Kilcullen left corner back. Derek Phelan. And Derek is fouled. Free down here, Mick Bean goes under. But still is Kilcullen coming away in the shape of the. Danny Cal, right for the shot from Danny Cal. And it's well tipped over there by Joe Corrigan. Bring the Cullen score to three points, kill nine. Good save there by Joe Corrigan. We don't. <laughs> Kick from Joe Corrigan comes to this side of the field. Christy Dornan seems to be tackled unfairly by Johnny Howard. However, it's Johnny Howard with the left foot. Good kick in towards goals. Ronan Delahunt is under us, but the ball has gone wide. Kick drop in midfield. Parry Kelly is under it. Ball breaks away. Comes out here. Pat Creighton is there for kill. And Pat Creighton fouls his man, freeing for Kill Cullen some 45 metres out from the kill goals. Cullen free, has gone high, gone over the bar, score nine points to four, still in favour of Kill. And uh, Nicky Dorn has gone in, Connor forward here for uh, Kill, and Derek Brogan come out to left half forward. Corrigan, we should mention the team has been tamed by Tommy Clark there, who played for Wicklow. And John Carr is a selector as well, and Noel Murphy. These are the people that have been the backbone uh, Kill this year uh, to get them here to the final. At the moment, uh, the free award to Kilcullen, some uh, 55 metres out from the kill goals, which will be taken by Danny Cal. Big right for the kick from Danny, just gone to the right and gone wide. Kick out to be taken by Joe Corrigan, who won a championship in 79, and Leicester Junior with Kildare in 88. Having a great year. And uh, he's always boss at the goals, let them backs know that he's in command there. But anyway, the ball has been dropped right back in there. And uh, Cook Cullen full forward has it. Ronan Delahunt uh, defends well, comes out here. Danny Cal back into the square again. Mark Bourne gets his hands to it, but uh, man in the square, free out to kill. Joe Corrigan takes it out of his hands, comes in there to Tony Dunn. Tony Dunn uh, seems to be fouled. Uh, referee Moore again uh, undecided, going to throw up the ball between two players. Throwing it up and it's Parley Kelly and Danny Cal. Parley Kelly gets it. Valuable ball for Kill, it comes away up the field. Knocks it in here. Trevor Swear is under for Kill Cullen. Left footed shot from Swear gone off down here. Pat Creighton 
out under it, ball near the sideline and gone out, line ball for Kill Cullen, for Kill. Line ball taken by Pat Creighton, straight out over the sideline, line ball for Kill Cullen. Right for the kick, dropping in, Mark Bourne is under it there. Uh, and fouls, and it's a free in yet again for Kilcullen in what has now been a free ridden game here in the second half. Free to be taken by uh, Johnny Howard to Kilcullen. Johnny comes up, left for the shot, which has gone wide. This kick drop in midfield, uh, Brendan Bourne is under it, but the ball is breaking away here. Comes out to Johnny Howard. Howard seems to overcarry the ball, gets a shot in. Well saved there, very dangerous shot. Saved well by Joe Corrigan. Knocks it out here. And the ball gone out over the sideline. Line ball for Kill Cullen. A stand side of the field and about 30 metres out from the kill goals. Danny Cal right across the square here. Taken there by Pat Creighton coming away. And it's gone to Noel Corkerman. Noel involved in two tackles. It's Packy Cal for Kilcullen. And Packy Cal uh, deemed to have handled the ball on the ground, free for kill. Free to be taken by the left footed Brendan Blondie Bourne. Good free, dropping right into the square. His midfield partner, Party Kelly, is under and gets possession for kill. Trying to get the ball back out, which he does. Since we've gone to Paul Merriman. And Paul Merriman's shot is deflected by Kilcullen defender and the ball gone out for a 50. <laughs> 50 to be taken here by Parry Kelly. Good kick by Parry, a great kick. It's gone right into the square there, taken by Packy Cal, who's fouled. Free out there for Kilcullen. Kicks it out to this side of the field. Parry Kelly is on it. Punches it away. It's gone here to Tony Dunn. Knocks it out there to Paul Merriman. The right half hour for Kill. Paul knocks it on here. Looks like to gone to Noel Kokeman. It's gone in here to the half back. Half back Tony Dunn come up the field and got a very good score there for Kill. Tony Dunn uh, thought he's way into the team this year. Likes a bit of music and his brother Bubbly played in the junior B team. Lamb's kick comes to this side of the field. Tony Dunn is under it again and gets a very good ball. Tony Dunn playing very well at the moment. He's heavily tackled, knocks it out to Mick Bean. Mick Bean knocks the ball on there. Gone out to Nicky Dorn. Gone in here to full forward, Donny Dorn. Right for the kick from Donny that's gone over the bar. And Killer back in here with a big bang now in the second half. Two points within a minute there. Quick kick to taken out by Shane Lamb. Comes to this side of Derek Brogan is under. And get got there by Parry Kelly. And ball gone out this side of the field. Nine ball for kill. Nine ball to be taken by team captain Christy Dornan. Trying to slow it down and leaves it for his centre half back. Uh, Mick Behan. Mick the dual player. Kicks it into this corner here. Ted Cullen, right corner back. Uh, now in possession, right down along this side of the field. Ball breaks. Johnny Howard is after it here. And the number 12, which is Richard Price, I think. Tries a sh outside of the foot. Cookerman. No, Cookerman on the ground. Uh, loses possession. Ball knocked out of his hand, but it's a Ted Cullen line ball. Gone in here, Kilcullen on the attack. Right for the shot there from Kilcullen player. That's gone over the bar, bring the score five points to 11. And we have some 12, 13 minutes left in the game at this stage. Gone here to Derek Brogan, who come on here in the second half. Left for the shot from Derek out to Blondie Bourne here. 
Blondie knocks it on. Uh, nobody in particular, but well rescued there by Noel Cokeman. Gonna Nicky Durkin. Dorn has gone into Donny. It seems to be fouled with Packy Cal coming away for Kid Cullen. The long haired Packy. Goes out to Pat Creighton is under there and knocks it out over the sideline. Uh, but uh, line ball, must have went off someone line ball for Kill. Paul Merriman under seems to be knocked off the ball and is again line ball back down for Kilcullen. Gone into the corner, Pat Creighton is under. And Kill coming away here. Seems to be Mark Bourne. Mark Bourne charges with the ball, free right on the halfway line to Kill Cullen. Kick goes to the far side of the field. Kill Cullen half forward, trying to right for his shot, just seems to be very good. It's gone over to lead the score, uh, six points to 11. And uh, Pat Swear, the Kill Cullen manager in the field. And Ronan Delahunt has a new man gone in there at full forward. Danny Cal knocks it out to this side of the field. Derek Brogan and Mick Bean defending for Kill, but free for Kill Cullen. Slips us just as about to kick it, but Johnny Howard from Kit Cullen on the attack. Knocks it out to this side. And right for the shot, just gone wide. Hurricane has gone on for Seamus Sheridan up in the right corner for our position. Joe Hurricane's kick dropping midfield. Mark Bourne started off left corner back, gets the ball for kill. Knocks it out to the far side of the field. Tony Dunn. Tony's clearance intercepted. Ball put back in here. Pat Creighton is trying to chase back. But the ball goes over the end line and wide. Joe Hurricane's kick dropping midfield. Uh, taken there by Mark Bourne, playing a very good game today. Mark puts it out to the far side of the field. Noel Cokeman is under. Noel plays it on the ground. Under first pressure, Noel Cokeman. And he does very well. Gets it in here. But Kirk Cullen back in numbers. Turning out to the far side of the field. Ball retained in. Just about. We're on the halfway line. Kirk Cullen attacking. Mick Bean is trying. Parry Kelly knocks it out to the far side of the field, gone to Brendan Bourne. Brendan, younger brother of Mark there, the left cornerback. Brendan is coming away with the left foot, knocks it in here to Paul Merriman. Paul doesn't come to the ball, and Kid Cullen away again. Packy Cal, right-footed kick from Packy. Dropping down into Ronan, Delahunt knocks it away. And Kid Cullen have gone clean through here and end up with a point. Score at the moment, seven points to 11. And we have about uh, six, seven minutes. Blondie born under for kill. Dispossessed. Had the ball originally. And uh, Joe Moore about to take the name of one to kick Cullen lads who took the ball away there from Brendan Bourne. And play held up as a result. Back, right foot a kick from Mark. Gone up, Paul Merriman is under. Still. Kilcullen fouled, free on their own half back line. Taken quickly, time valuable this stage. It looks like Tony Dunn knocks it away here to Derek Brogan. Come on as a sub. Left foot a kick from Derek and right up along here. And Nicky Dorn has gone in, still has possession. Knocks it out here. Stay mate going on. Parry Kelly's kick is blocked down. And still could Cullen come away now after that incident. 
Christy Dernan is under it here. Ball gone out. Off the Kilcullen man. Quickly taken. Kaki Cal gets possession for Kilcullen. Knocks it down here. Ronan Delahunt is under it. And does very well. He's heavily tackled. Seems to be fouled. Knocks it away to Mick Bean. Looking for a mix experience here now at this stage. Mick is fouled as he comes away and Kill have got a valuable free. Mark Byrne with the kick. Good kick by Mark again. Got in Paul Merriman is under. Paul knocked away here. And uh, it's a free for Kick Cullen. Uh, just on their own half back line. <laughs> Johnny Howard, first man out here to the ball. Knocks it in here, Kilcullen still on the attack, and a very good point there. Bring the score, eight points, 11. And we've got four or five minutes left in the game, this stage. So it's all to play for as yet. Kilcullen, uh, slowly but surely, still picking off the scores with the aid of the wind. But uh, it remains to be seen now whether the kill score can hold out for them to bring home the Junior A Championship. Quickly taken by Mark Bourne. Mark Bourne in here to Mick Bean. Mick Bean trying to retain possession. Knocks it over this side of the field. Parry Kelly has it. Parry Kelly heavily tackled around the face, but gets a good free for kill just on the halfway line. Free to be taken by Parry Kelly. Parry who had a good game. Right for the kick from Parry, dropping right into the square there. Blondie Bourne knocks it over. It's gone to Derek Brogan. Derek heavily tackled, tries to lay the ball off. Stalemate in there. Kilcullen looks to be coming away with it. Gone to Paul Merriman, left foot a kick from Paul. Drops in there, Shane Lamb in the Kilcullen goals. Gets it, knocks it out to his corner back. Out to this side of the field. Ball still in play, Mick Bean gets it. Mick is on the ground. And uh, Mick using all his experience there now. Uh, gets a free, valuable free for Kilcullen, for a kill. Bit of pandemonium going on, a few instances off the ball at the moment. Mick Bean gets across, gaining good possession. Knocks it out to the far side of the field, Mark Bourne is here. Mark Bourne. Christy Dornan and Johnny Howard shaping up the one or this side of the field as the game goes on. Mick Bean is back. Pat Creighton is under it. And Mick Bean, using all his experience, clearing up very well for Kill. Game at an exciting pattern. Knocks it over to Mark Byrne. Ball gone out over the sideline. Nine bar for Kilcullen on the halfway line. Player standing too near the ball there. Ball brought up. And it's a matter of time here for Kilcullen now this stage. Ball dropped in there. Pat Creighton knocks it away. Ball gone over the end line and wide. Mark Currigan with the kick out. Good kick out. Dropping midfield. Blondie Bourne gaining good possession here for Kilcullen. He's heavily tackled. Seems to be badly fouled. Valuable possession for Kill gain there by Brendan Bourne. Mick Bean cools things down there, places the ball and leaves it for Mark Bourne to take the free kick. <laughs> Last few minutes now, Noel Murphy, the selector there, John Carr and Tommy Clark all hoping that they can be successful here and that Kill can bring home the trophy. It's still Kill Cullen on the attack though. Lots of pressure on the kill backs. Mick Bean under it there. And Kilcullen some 14 metres out. 
gone in here, gone to Mick Bean, but uh, referee John Moore deems a foul. Free in for Kit Cullen on the 20 metre line. Johnny Howard with a free kick. And it's gone off his foot and gone wide. And that's a very bad miss for Kick Cullen at this stage of the game. We're just seconds away from the final whistle here now. And the Kiltil contingent very excited. It looks like it's going to be a double here today. Seamus Sheridan down here on the line. Origin his team on. And uh, Parry Kelly jumping in the air. He seems to have consulted referee Joe Moore. And it's all over, and Kill have won the Junior A Championship. Great scenes here. Jamie Sheridan, they're all Blondie Bourne rolling around the ground out here in front of us, and Christy Dornan in ecstasy as uh, the cup is brought home to Kill. I would say that you will certainly have your day. There is no doubt in my mind that you'll see the day that the column will come to collect the Noel Morn Cup. But today was the, the day for Kill and a tremendous day indeed. And I would certainly like to congratulate them upon such a magnificent performance. To Joe Moore and his officials, many thanks. Joe suffered a disappointment last year and we're delighted to see him refereeing here today. And thanks very much, Joe, for, for your efforts upon our behalf today. And now it gives me great pleasure to present to the Noel Bourne Cup to the captain of Kill, Chris Dolman. <laughs> Accept this on behalf of the Kill Club. This is something that we worked hard for not only this year, but over the last few years. I'd like to thank our selectors, John Carr, Noel Murphy, and a special thanks to our trainer and coach this year, Tommy Clark. Yeah. I'd also like to congratulate our B team on making a great day for the club. Thank you very much. We we'll thank our sponsor today, Kill Quality Meats, Noel Byrne. Lovely set jerseys. I'd like to thank Kill Cullen for an absolutely brilliant game. They're hard luck, lads. We came here today and nothing was going to take this away from us. We know what it's like to be bet here. We're a young side, I'm sure he's be back again next year. No problem with Three cheers for Kitana. Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! Thank you.
Somebody say something. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Myself, I, I just did it. Okay, and I have with me here uh, Amy Birmingham, who is a very proud chairman of Kill Today. Really, I've, I've very little to say. I'm just totally happy that the results have gone the way we wanted them to. We've worked all year for this, and I'm very proud of the people that worked behind the scenes, worked with the teams, and worked with the teams all through the season. They've been working towards this day from the very start. That was our goal, and we've got there. I'd particularly like to thank John Carr, Tommy Clark, Noel Murphy, Jimmy Fisaris, and well, any others that were helping in the administration of the teams. I'd also like to thank the Ladies' Committee for what they're going to do for us. We're, we've timed everything very well. We've a hot meal for the two teams now afterwards, and they're responsible for that. After that, I can say no more, except how proud I am of the club and our achievements today. Well, Eamon, um, you were a player with uh, Kill for a number of years as well. How would you compare this this team today now with other Kill teams? Well, I'm looking at Kill teams and I started playing about 1961. And I think this, this was the best prepared Kill team I've seen as regards an ability to be, jump for the ball, field the ball. And keep cool when we were, when things weren't going well. That was a, other times we would panic or give in, but we had bad spells during the match today. But we played our way through them, got back, got the scores, kept the pressure on Kilcullen, and Kilcullen weren't able for the pressure. Thank God. Well, to, uh, Eamon, uh, congratulations and uh, the best of luck uh, with the hurlers ringing off the treble, Eamon. Well, we have another leg now next Wednesday. Please God. Their hurlers are an hour away from the final, and we we want to make it a treble. We want to get our facility. We have our facilities. We want to get our club now, our grades up as well to match the facilities we have, and that's senior. So we're not going to rest on our oars now. Next year is the year to get another step ahead. Thanks very much, Eamon. With me here, Noel Murphy, who is the selector with the Kill team today. What about that performance, Noel? Oh, great performance, the lads. Put an awful lot into it. I'm not going to kill football between playing it and. Looking ahead for the last 35 or 40 years, I played for 20 years myself and I. I never saw so much enthusiasm during the week. There's 46 lads up training for the both the teams and they put in every effort and they deserve that and they got. They deserve the both cups on the day, like, you know, they're, they're a great bunch of lads. And the Tommy Clark, a great trainer, a coach, you couldn't pass him, like, he's able to get the lads in the right frame of mind and he's able to do the job, you know. Um. No, you seem to have Christy Dornan changed over there in the half back line as the game began. Was that a, on Johnny Howard? Was that a tactical yeah, well, move? Yeah, lads nearly know themselves that, that you know you don't have to say much to the half back line because they're a great half back, best line in the in the field. Um, to talk to one another, like you know, Mick Bain, the centre, he's able to tell lads to go. We don't have to tell them much. It's the other lads we do have to worry about, you know. But uh, Tiddy nearly know himself like, being captain and that a lot of experience. Mick Bain. Tony Dunn, three great men. Were you worried, Noel, at any stage during the second half that I might just slip away from you there? I was there for a while, but when Kill fought back and got two or three points, I knew I had it, they had it in them, like, you know, to hold on. Put in an awful effort there, over in the middle of the field in the second half. But with the wind blowing it so strong, like I thought, at half time we didn't have enough to score up, like, you know, but we held out, and it's great to have both trophies going home. Thanks very much, Noel. I have with me here uh, Tommy Clark, the team trainer a kill his first year with them and uh, bringing home the junior age championship to them Tommy yeah that's right um, I came over to kill in uh, February and um, <coughs> we had a word, uh, word with the lads and we emphasized uh, how hard the championship would be won you know and <coughs> we said we'd have a go I had you know from there well we wouldn't uh, be that keen on the league but uh, I think the lads fair play to them they improved all along out of leaps and bounds you know as we went along and um, they improved great, and once we got over the first round, well, then it was great. They kept improving all the time, you know. So uh, I think they were great today. On the day, we had great respect for Kilcullen, and uh, I, you know, really didn't give ourselves that much of a chance, you know. I knew it would be tight, and that's the way it ended up. So fair play to the lads. We had a seven-point lead at half-time. Uh, I didn't think it was really enough, but uh, I think they had one good period in the second half. About ten minutes into the second half, our lads really got stuck in. They had a great period, and in that period, they scored three points, and I think that's what held the day for us. Tommy, on your way you beat uh, Bally Kelly there, uh, Two Mile House and uh, Salons. Which do you reckon was the hardest game that you had counting today's final? 
Ah, well, today, uh, I think today was the best team because Hull were a better football team, better footballers all together. You know, they can play really good football, and they were all football, really. You know. Tommy, I'm putting you on. Vital positions, you know. I'm putting you on the spot here now. You have young players, Niall O'Donovan and uh, Nicky Dorn out there at half forward. Then you have the elder statesman, Mick Bean, Noel Cockerman. Uh, what What do you think of the older guys and the young guys? Ah, well, Kill is um, mostly a young team, you know. There's just a few um, fellas are getting on a bit, but I mean, they are still the mainstay of the team. They have the experience, and I think without those, they still wouldn't have a, a good team, you know. Still wouldn't have a championship team, you know. It's the older guys, I think, to carry this championship for them. And uh, finally, Tommy, after bringing home, first of all, the Junior B Championship and the Junior A, what for the future now, do you reckon? Ah, well, it's great, I think, to get any kind of a championship, you know, and... Uh, and it's great to bring off the double. You know, there's a lot going for a kill. Um, they're still in the, I think they're still in the hurling as well. They're still in the hurling championship, and there's a lot going for them. And anything they win now after this, of course, will be a bonus. And uh, I think this team, yeah, will go on. I think they can. We played a lot of intermediate teams in the championship, and judging on that form in the championship, I think they can make a decent intermediate team. To Tommy Clark, thanks very much. Here, John Carr. Uh, I could say a former player with kill. But uh, and this year, now that he's brought home the junior champion, he was a selector. John, what, would you prefer to be playing now or selecting? Yeah, I'd prefer to be playing by far. It's desperate, <laughs> it's desperate playing on the side or working on the sideline because the time just won't go by when we're in the lead, you know. And uh, the last five minutes seemed like an eternity to us on the line, especially. I don't know how it felt like to the lads in the, in the field, but I thought the clock would never go by. John, uh, you were leading by about, about seven points at half time. Did you think that was enough with the wind we're that was there today? We were leading by seven points at half time. And uh, we came back to the dressing room and we had a chat about it. And everybody was unanimous that we weren't far enough ahead at all. So we came out in the second half and we stretched it to eight. Right at the beginning, I think. And uh, there was a few points scored one way and the other. And we held a seven points lead for a long time. And then Kikulin started to pick off points and they had a bit of a run on us there in the second half and they're shooting let them down as well, you know. And uh, we held out, we defended very stoutly, like, you know, and a few of the lads threw themselves right into the game and, and held them out and until time eventually ran out for Kilcullen. Well, uh, John, uh, Kilcullen or Kill were in some finals before and this year was Tommy Clark's first year, which yeah. do you think it had a new bearing on the effect? I definitely had, yeah. Tommy has a, Tommy has a great knack with the players. Uh, he's, he's very good at training. He knows how to train a team and bring them, bring them to a peak for each match that's coming up. <clears throat> as well as that, Tommy is a great man to talk to the players. He never stops talking to them all the time. From the time he goes out on the field, at the training field, he's talking to them, he gets through to them. He, it doesn't take him long to figure out each, each, each lad's personality and he gets to them, you know. He gets, he gets to their strong point, he gets the best out of them, every one of them. John, just finally, um, where do you think Kill won the day today? Was it at midfield where uh, Blondie, Bourne and Parley Kelly had great games, or the backs, or wh where do you think they won the game? Uh, midfield was very... We, we didn't get that much clean ball in the midfield, you know, but they kept working hard at it. Uh, the backs played very strong, especially in the last ten minutes. They played very strong altogether. Mick Bean, Mark Byrne, Chris Dorn and Paddy Creighton, Ron Delhunt, Tony Dunn, they all, they all did their job, they all did what they were asked for. Joe Corrigan had a brilliant game in goals, he, he stopped two or three shots that looked as if they were heading for the net. Uh, Plenty of Park did their job in the middle of the field, okay, yeah. And uh, they carried the ball into the forwards very well, and the forwards had, had, had they scored, uh, what was it, what was the final score? 11 points, that's not too bad on a day like today. You know. To John Carr, thanks very much. With me here, uh, Brendan Blondie Bourne, who had an absolutely fantastic game for Kill at midfield. What did you think of that game today, Brendan? Um, it was a great game. It was very close. Um, <laughs> we were a bit worried coming into the final. We knew Kill Cullen were going to run at us and throw everything at us. But uh, I think the fact that the second team won the first match spurred us on a lot. And that, that helped us in the end. And the forwards took their scores. Fair play. The backs played very well. And at the end of the day, we deserve to win it. <laughs> Good team spirit this year in Kill, uh, Brendan, with the, the junior uh, Bs winning as well, and you yeah. coming here and bringing home the junior A trophy. 
Yeah, great team spirit. They've been down training with us as well, and we've all been mingling in together on the training field and getting a bit of spirit going. I think it helped on the day today. And a good backroom tier, uh, team there, uh, John Carr, uh, Tommy Clark and Noel Murphy. Uh, Brendan? Well, Tommy Clark, uh, being the next county footballer, he knows his stuff and he really helped us this year. He never had us as fit. And I think a lot is all to Tommy now today. What about uh, studying influences there in Mick Behan, uh, Brendan and what Noel Corkerman as, as well? Yeah, well, the veterans always helping the team, the experience, you know, it helps at the end of the day. But Mick Behan, as usual, had a brilliant game. He always plays brilliant. <laughs> Brendan, uh, you'll celebrate tonight, maybe. A few old songs and a few beers, will you? No, well, I have to work in the morning, so I probably won't have a few drinks tonight, just one or two, that'll be it. <laughs> And we believe that. So, Brendan, thanks very much. And I have with me here Christy Dornan, who is right half back on the team. And uh, a proud captain today, Christy. Oh, very proud. Very proud to be a club member in Kill. Great day for the club. Two championships in one day. And hopefully the hurling making the treble this year. Uh, Christy, what was the spirit like this year in Kill with uh, Tommy Clark coming in as trainer and that? Absolutely tremendous. Great spirit. 40, 45 up training nights. Absolutely brilliant. We were going for it this year. Nothing was going to stop us. How did you feel, Christy, uh, as approaching half time there? With, uh, did you think you had enough on the board? Yeah, we took the scores. We missed a few, but we held our heads, kept going. Started the second half, we got going again, got a few quick points. I think that kind of won it for us at the end of the day. What would you rate, Christy, your hardest match this year? Let's just bet Bally Kelly, Salins, and Two Mile House and Kilcullen today. Who do you think was the hardest game? Kilcullen today was definitely the hardest game. We had to fight really hard for everything. Who did you think was the most influential players around you there today, Christy? Uh, had blinders, in other words. One man that's had a blinder all year, every year it was. Mick Bean, absolutely brilliant today again. Carried the, the whole team there, centre half back. And your midfielder, uh, Blondie, Bourne and Parry Kelly, both good games as well? Two of them played reasonably well. Parry kept us going there in the first half, caught some great balls. Blondie in the second half started really working hard there, chasing and hurrying. Kept their midfield over there in the second half. Well, Christy, you had a Leinster with Kildare, what was in 88 and that, and you're a dual player as well. Today, must match any of those wins? Oh, definitely. Better than any of them. <laughs> definitely to win the club. We worked really hard for the last four or five years for this. Today was a great day. To Christy Dornan, captain of the team, thanks very much.